Hello, welcome to the show. This is Off Topic. For those who are watching live, remember you can watch us every Thursday right on time at 3.05 p.m. Central right here on Richardseed.com site or on your phone and living room apps. Hi, I'm your host, Alfredo Diaz. Today, join with me. We got uh, Jeff, he's sleeping. Uh, BK is joining us. He's awake now. I'm scared. Uh, Matt Who and... me from my and, slumber? And, and Joe. Joe's... Jesus. Oh. Joe, Joe's, a, Joe's coming to us in 4-3 stretch res. Oh. <laughs> what, what is up, everybody? It is off topic. Um, as you can see, we are um, at home doing this live from home right now. And that's just because, um, you know, with uh, the Omicron COVID variant that's going on right now, it's highly contagious. And we've got a big production shoot next week. So we just want to be safe going into that. So that's why we are at home this week. You can uh, tell there was a problem because uh, in case of break glass, they did and woke me up. That's true. true. <laughs> that's, that's how that yeah. I mean, you were slumbering yeah. right up until the, you know, start of the, the podcast. Well, you know, I'm in, I'm, I, I was trying to have an eternal sleep, Matt, but then oh, uh, every once in right. a while they ring the Jeff bell and then I, yeah. they pull me out of the mausoleum, dust me off. <laughs> Rise from the grave. Doesn't, doesn't even go to a better coffin. Just <laughs> yeah. after that's, this show is done, it's just. Though, right? I thought that. Just, I, I had I practiced that for a while. It was beautiful. You were in frame. I loved yeah, it. I, was, yeah. I couldn't. Yeah, the Dracula eyes came in alive. menacingly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, in urgent news, I just want to say that uh, Taco Bell just unveiled a monthly taco pass. Oh. What? It's the Taco Lovers Pass. It costs $10 and grants pass holders one taco a day for 30 days. Well, Damn, I gotta I go mean, to Taco Bell every day. Wow. I get them just claim one Move free over. Taco. <laughs> 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 That's like, <sighs> be first in line for this pass. Right, right. <laughs> move, move over, Game Pass. I'm done. Taco Pass. That's it. I mean, like, right. if we're if we're to be honest, I I would m totally fuck with the McDonald's Battle Pass. Like, that's better than battle pass. Pass. Battle, battle pass. pass. Battle pass. Battle pass. What? You come know, what you I mean, put, come you on. That's what. Right. Come on. You know that's what it is, bro. One large fry. All I'm saying is that, like, you know what I mean. Hey, maybe like I, I get a McDonald's pass, then I go and I, you know I get stuff, and maybe there's like a, a tier system that I work towards, and at the end I get like I don't know a large fry or something like that. Start, start that's mixing that's like that's food reward systems with like video game battle pass. I don't know. I'm not gonna ask for too much from no, uh, dude. At Ronald. the end of that, at the end of it, has to be a Ronald McDonald companion that follows me around. Oh, for I go. sure. Yeah. Not, not like a large your, fry and a large creepy, creepy, blood though. sugar, Matt. <laughs> what? What about my blood that's, sugar? That's what the ultimate tier is. Is like uh, you get silver to gold to platinum. Platinum is adult onset diabetes, and you get <laughs> who walks around and, 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 and the Ronald McDonald companion. He, he'd yeah. have my medication just, with him. It's, it's a doctor on deck, it's a, just taking your fingers. Visit. You know, making sure yeah. you're good. <laughs> yeah, it's a doctor visit. It comes along with it. I don't know though. I think yeah, I no, could I totally mess with the no. food pass. Probably don't want to. Don't want to dwell on it, but we should probably uh, address it right out of the gate. Uh, today is January 6th, as Nicholas mentioned. It is the one-year anniversary since he did a podcast on January 6th. So there you go. We talked about it. Well done. Got it out of the way. Mm -hmm. yeah. Easy, yeah. easy and simple. So, like, what food <laughs> <laughs> establishment would you want to pass for? That's... <laughs> I mean, that's a good one, though. I feel like I go there enough that I would I, I'd get my <laughs> money's worth out of the pack. Taco Bell. How about this? Uh, I don't know about Taco Bell. If you could only eat at one fast food restaurant for the rest of your life, what would it be? God. There's your answer. I mean, I'm, I feel like no matter what, I'm locked into McDonald's because my parents met at a McDonald's. <laughs> like... <laughs> My mom was working at McDonald's. Wait, really? If I, don't, if I don't eat I'm here for the rest of my I'm life, people might lying, not be My mom was working at a McDonald's, and my dad and his older brother rolled through, and then my my mom and dad were chopping it up, and then my dad, my uncle handed my father a McDonald's napkin. My mom wrote her phone number on it, and then we lived Moss. The rest hey, is you history. Know, oh, like, mixing your metaphors. Do you yeah. know what the uh, Do you know what the extra value meal your dad wooed your mom with was? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I should. I think at some point I knew what the meal was, but I kind of have. To, I want to go back and ask what that order was. You seem like a Big Mac baby to me. 
I think I was a Big Mac. Big Mac? I was gonna say, like, maybe he yeah. ordered a Big Mac, and then he was like, I'll give you my Big Mac later. Okay. I hey, don't... yo. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know. You want to that... supersize me, baby? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that look ever worked for you, Joe? Or what? That look? Was... <laughs> Where every like, you know, yeah, it's Saturday what... night. Uh, this one? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, it works for me all the time. Does it? <laughs> no. Okay. It's like not <laughs> one. I just need to be sure. We were on the fifth about hire him till he till he hit us with that look, and then we were like, oh, "Shit, yeah. we'll hire you." Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say uh, BK is gonna have to go for BK, you know, with this battle pass, one hundred ten percent. You know, what I'm saying them chicken fries are the way to go. Come on, those are pretty good. The chicken fries, the onion rings. You know Bro, what I'm you're. Yeah. Like, yeah. I love you, BK, but you're like one of ten people <laughs> keeping that fucking chain in business, like. <laughs> Who? You know, I mean, look, look. The I'll, chicken I'll fries is like keep them open. You know? That's it. Occasionally, I'll what do you get there aside from the chicken fries? The, the chicken fries. That's yeah, it. It's the number ten. I don't know. Whopper, sometimes whoppers sometimes. You know, are okay. Whopper. Like whopper uh, I don't. Whopper's look, good. You, they're not great, but they're not bad. That's like that's like you've the had guy. worse. That's, that's, that's yeah. the thing. I feel like yeah, I've had worse. I've like had the, the fucking filet of fish. That's. I feel the quality of Burger King is more consistent than McDonald's. McDonald's can be all over the place, right? Burking, it's, it's no. like a flat line. Burking, yeah, because the quality made. of the Whopper is always okay. soggy. Isn't That's the nice thing about a McDonald's. Soggy. It never has soggy Whopper. It, no matter what time of day or what place in the world you buy McDonald's, it tastes exactly the fucking same. I have no, 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 no. Definitely tastes different in yeah. different countries, oh, sir. hundred yeah. percent. I never Japanese Jeff, McDonald's I'm, is the I'm best. What's wrong with you? I've been 100%. to the Japanese McDonald's. Tasted like McDonald's. No, it didn't. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. I loved it. Millie and I had the first meal we ate in Tokyo was McDonald's. Was McDonald's. As you do when you oh. go to Tokyo, right? Obviously. It's exactly the same as every other McDonald's, which is why we loved it. Like, oh, I, heard, I heard McDonald's <laughs> in Japan are like delicious. Like they're like so picture perfect. It's Dude, bad. McDonald's in uh, Hawaii has Spam Masubi. It's very delicious. Mm. Spam Masubi? You know, it's what's, like, what's it's literally just... It's so it's like a block of rice and then like a slice of spam on top and it's wrapped in seaweed. It's very you lost good. me after you said rice. Very good. I, and I said spam. I'm, I'm sorry. Bro, I'm... Be, being like half Mexican, Filipino, and amongst other things, like boy, I'm born on rice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I get extra price. rice everything. I see you were born off of rice. Mac. We already covered uh, that. That's yeah. true. That's, that's true. true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you eat? You get, do you legacy. like spam, Alfredo? Uh, I do. It was, yeah. I don't know, like for me, it was just like, um, it was like an easy meal that was prepared for me after school when I was younger, or just like, mm -hmm. you'd be like, well, being, um, growing up in a Filipino household, nothing was healthy. So it wasn't just rice. It was like garlic rice with mm. eggs, like chopped up eggs. And then, um, you know, chopped eggs, scramble eggs, and then spam chopped up. And that was like an easy go-to meal. It was like, bam, mm -hmm. really good. But like, I I'll go to like a kid. chopped mm -hmm. eggs. I just, when you said that, I, I just, all I saw was the visual of you. Yeah, just <laughs> chopping eggs. I was like, that's a, yeah, a guy with like a, a, a regular egg. Like, yolk yeah, just not. like, <laughs> just fucking there we are. no, you break that yolk on, or, over the rice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. The uh, poor kid Alabama snack when I was growing up was a spoon and a can of spam. Just like, go for it. And you're like, yes, grandma. Yeah, can it? Mm -hmm. Oh man, we had stacks of cans of spam, and you just try and cook it a million different ways, fry it up, you know what I mean, or grill it, whatever. Oh. Because I've ever had a raw. ketchup and mustard sandwich before. Ketchup. I have, like, uh, but I, but I my used to parents eat. Parents didn't know I did it. Oh, I just used to the eat breads those, with those it's, it's, well, yeah. condiments. I, 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 I ate that for a while when I was like struggling. Like I was like, you know what? I want to eat something, but it has got to have some flavor. Just like ketchup. Yeah. And God. I'm, just, I'm just crying right now. I'm just. Well, you have to do what you got to do, right? When you want to eat. I know, but yeah. peanut butter and jelly was was too hard for you. I'm sorry. No, I'm just. Damn. I'm, I'm going to dial that back. Damn. I just. Ketchup. Yeah, jelly, you poor I'm just going to dial bitch. that back. Yeah. Like ketchup, like tomato, sugar, juice. That's what you wanted on your bread. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bro, you know I can't, what? I can't. You know what was Jackie and I's like savior for a while. We were like struggling. It was um, 
Little Caesars, like their five dollar hot and ready's. Mm. Easy. Bam. You just go Very grab easy. that. Done. We'd have that like four or five times a week. We're like, we got five bucks. Let's just go and get that pizza. Tastes like cardboard, but fuck it. It's something. You Jeez, got cardboard it. at least. Yeah. I mean, you you do what you gotta do. I get it. I yeah. respect. And if they're like, the- we got Burger King instead, I would have been like, just kill me. <laughs> <laughs> you'd, like rather, worth it. you'd rather eat cardboard than burger. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Sorry, you need food. Here's a whopper. No, let me go. Let me go. What kind of, that's, a, that's not living. That's, what kind of yeah. when I was uh when I was at my poorest in the army, I would routinely buy a five can uh drum of refried beans mm. and that and that was it. And you would just eat refried beans for dinner. <clears throat> I wish I loved beans. I just, I don't know. I just don't like them. You don't like beans? I don't like the yeah, texture. No, no, like really the taste of beans is great. I just don't like the, the texture. texture. I'm the with texture you. For the beans. And that goes the same way for me and um, most mushrooms. Like mushroom on pizza, like mm. it's the texture is kind of like that soggy texture. I'm like, eh. You're just refined. You're just like, you don't like it. Yeah, I have a pretty refined palate. <laughs> <laughs> mushrooms always are those things where I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to give it a go. Cause like, if I was going to be poisoned, I think it would be a mushroom and probably an accident. <laughs> <laughs> I love that's what you're well, thinking. What are you, yeah. what are you doing? You're just like, foraging no, in no, the forest. Like, you're like, whoo, a little mushroom. You just put it in your mouth. Like, well, I mean, I, I've known people that did that. Like, I, I saw someone just like, because I, I used to, I was from the South. We would go <clears> camping <throat> occasionally. And by that, I mean, I would carry my Game Boy and follow someone through the woods. <laughs> Like, <laughs> that is totally the mat way of but, hiking oh, or camping. Absolutely. But aren't but you hey. eating mushrooms as Mario on that fucking Game Boy anyway? Yeah, and, and that True. motherfucker Your changed sizes every five mushrooms? minutes, Jeff. I don't have time for that. <laughs> he got big and small. <laughs> but yeah, no, I just assumed that like I would eat a mushroom and they'd be like, yeah, man, we dropped a poison one in there somewhere. I don't know where, and then I'm dead. Like, I, I've got, like, the worst luck. That's what's going to happen to me. You're either dead or you're hired. It's one or the other, you know? Now, that's a good point. Wait, what? Dead Maybe or hired? Or high. High, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah that's true. I don't know. I wouldn't yeah. risk it. It's 50-50, you know? Yeah. It's so good for you. So <laughs> I really don't think it is 50-50. Mushrooms are delicious. <laughs> I, for one, love mushrooms. So. <laughs> well, Jeff was saying it's so good for you. You know, no. it's so good for you, and especially, like, when I was working out, I just don't like I, it sucks I don't like it as much um, as I should. It would have helped me a lot. Is uh, peanut butter. Peanut like, that's it. That's what I was saying. Peanut butter. Yeah. But like, I just take a spoonful of peanut butter. That's why when I'm broke, I just, that is Skippy. It, like, <laughs> and <yeah>. bread. <laughs> that's all well, I got. Yeah, at least, like, you know, but when you eat, like, ketchup and mustard sandwiches, at least it's not like your mouth feels like it's being fucking super glued together. At least I'm getting protein, <laughs> Joe. <laughs> Ketchup is sugar. No. Sugar ketchup is in ketchup. Not, does not Hold on, wait. Uh, does ketchup have protein? <laughs> no. Point two gram. Oh, oh. Bro, that's all he needed. That's it. He just oh, needed. He needed. Just, it could have been zero point zero 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 one. He'd be like protein, boy. <laughs> I see that protein. <laughs> well, technically speaking, it is protein. <laughs> How was everyone's break? Their Christmas holiday break, New Year's, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love that. All, everyone's just like, shit. Yeah. Yeah. Christmas was good for around. me. But New Year's What'd was very uneventful. What I get for Christmas? Yeah, got a lot of clothes. Yeah. Nice. A lot of clothes. I also got to see family I haven't seen for like 12 years. They randomly came to visit us. So that was kind of a nice surprise. Nice. Mm. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, Joe, like, you still get clothes and gifts for Christmas? <laughs> like, uh, I don't well, get, okay, a lot get of it. A lot of it is literally just like, I didn't know what to get you. I'm just going to give you a pair of socks. And it's Th- like, that's convenient, yeah. though. That's like needed. Like, I don't buy socks or underwear all year. I wait for Christmas. <laughs> so hopefully <laughs> I can get them. Yeah, you, you got like two or three <laughs> pairs left before Christmas. Yeah. Like, I hope. I hope nothing happens in the next week. We're we're in trouble. With <laughs> yeah, no, I uh, I went home and uh, saw my family. For, uh, hadn't seen them for a couple of years because uh, of uh, COVID and all that, but um, it was the same. You know, I showed mm-hmm. up. My mom complained that I played video games, and my sister was like, "Can we play this?" And I was like, "Yeah, let's play it." While well, she complains, and then that was that. <laughs> so you still refer to South Carolina, right? Yeah. You still refer to South Carolina as home, huh? 
Well, I mean, mostly just because if I don't and I'm having a conversation with my mom, then it's just a pain. So, oh, sure, sure. I yeah, I have to be like, oh, yeah, I'll come home or whatever. <clears throat> but, but yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely it's home. It's going to be watching this off topic anyway. So, you yeah, it's 100%. Yeah. Yeah. You got to make sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and no. then, then she says, Matthew, you said the fuck word. Why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Why? When we first started uh, the RT podcast, you know, before even uh, Achievement Hunter existed, I had to ask my mother to stop listening to it because we would record on Tuesday or we'd put it out on Tuesday. And then a Wednesday morning, I would just get a text from my mom of like 30 things that she had issued mm-hmm. with. You know, we were talking <laughs> about our childhood or whatever. And I finally had to be like, it's this, this podcast is not for you. I love that you support me. I love that you want to like see how your kid's doing, but you got to stop because I can't take it. <clears throat> Yeah, no, I mean, and that's like my mom doesn't watch anything uh, because like we we had that firm like that conversation of like, do you should I should I watch anything? And I'm like, no, not not any of but it. But she could. Like, She's not blind or anything. I mean, she she could. She definitely could. But like, yeah, her her words then were like, OK, just don't embarrass the family. And then I just looked at her. Oh. I was like, that ship has sailed. <laughs> Oh, do not yeah, worry see, about that one. I have that problem yeah. with my family. My family, I'm like the black sheep in my family. So all the stuff mm-hmm. I've said in like my streams and then coming to like Achievement Hunter, mm-hmm. uh, my family has been trying to watch stuff on Achievement Hunter, and I'm like, no, please don't. Just like, yeah, act like it, act like I've never done this in my entire life. <laughs> because on my streams, I used to say a lot. Of, I used to say a lot of things, and they were like, wow, I didn't, I didn't know that you you spoke that way. And I was like, well, you also haven't been in my life for years, so. Mm. yeah so yeah. when you were bullying me in today's minecraft i should have just talked to your mom and trying well like, bullying is a strong you. word bullying is a strong word now it felt like it, i could have just stopped it with this is a psa on how bullying happens hey, in the minecraft video you know what you want to talk about minecraft effort and what did what happened in uh today's video then um uh, i'm not spoiling uh, nothing yeah exactly yeah. Yeah, Joe, i'm not ahead, the only it. i'm not the only one that did some things let's just say that mm. It went down in Minecraft. Dude, Minecraft <laughs> has been an absolute like blast. Um, Kai and Lindsay have just been coming up with so many cool like games and themes. Mm-hmm. And like I go in, I go, what are we doing today? And um, today was one of those days. I went in, I was like, oh, this is the game we're playing? Sweet. Like, I'm about it. I'm all about it. Yeah. When I see the stuff that Kai and Lindsay are working on, and when I'm lucky enough to get, you know, when they break the glass, because there's n- literally no one else on Earth that can play, and they, they yeah. pull me out. We try to avoid that. Uh, yeah. I get so fucking excited, because for the first time, not that I've ever, not that I've ever not enjoyed our Minecraft content, but it feels, I, I feel that energy and that, like, spirit of creativity that that I felt like existed at the very beginning when we first started playing it. And we were figuring out how to make little mini games and stuff. And obviously we did that for then a thousand years. But I just I th- there's something about it just feels special. Like we're we're heading into a renaissance in that game with those people leading it, you know? I, I, I really exciting and I, I'm really jazzed about it. Yeah. It's fun to revive a dead game, you know what I'm saying? No one ever plays or talks about it anymore. You never see it anywhere. And... Yeah, you still see it pop up every once in a while, right? Like on like YouTube or like TikTok right, and stuff. But right over this man's yeah. head. That way. Like, <laughs> at all what 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 do you mean <laughs> i was just saying you know you just see you just see now my carbon's still huge yeah it's, it's a big game <laughs> yeah I, 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 I don't i don't I, well i guess i guess it comes with an algorithm right like i rarely see minecraft i've only recently seen yeah. seeing, like Minecraft. but like i rarely saw it for like years like i saw it like maybe a tiktok here and there and then that was it so, like, I guess the album yeah. has a big part in it, but... I'm I'd sorry, say, you're just saying I see it on TikTok and it yeah. throws me off. I'm like, how old are we, Joe? <laughs> like, what? Like, what? I've been, I've I'm been just, seeing hey. those TikToks and... Right, right, um, like... <laughs> well, I, just, I just don't see a lot of Minecraft videos. And, like, this is the most Minecraft I've ever involved in my life. Okay, you know, that's, that's kind of that's so like, crazy to think about, though, like... You brought up a good point right there where, like, you might just not see it because of the algorithm, right? Like, yeah, true. When right, the, exactly. When the internet, like, originally started, you were, like, able to learn so much and just mm-hmm. uh, occasionally you'd be slapped with, like, this random thing. That doesn't really happen anymore, right? Yeah. They kind of, they've narrowed down you as a person and they're mm-hmm. like, you would like these. And nothing yeah, I don't out. like how the internet profiles me. Yeah. Like, algorithm, calm yeah. down on that. That's, that's <laughs> the thing, right? Like, I never played it when it released, like... I never really got into it. I didn't have a lot of friends that played it, so I just right. never really got into the game. Mm-hmm. So I rarely saw anything of it. Never got into it because it just looked like a baby game. Oh 
no. And then I gave it a chance, and I was like, all right, it's actually pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, oh I don't know. I was, I was, there was a period of time I was like, oh, it's graphics, bro. But then it's like, it's more than that. And it, it's fun. Mm-hmm. It's very, you just go to be and then very you creative. started playing it. Siege on 4 3 stretched on the weirdest, like, <laughs> yeah. I did. I did. I can't. You can't gave a shit about graphics. <laughs> I mean, yeah, when I, when I played Siege, it looked like. When jo- just but play, look, yeah, look. Play me, okay. Alfredo. Oh, okay, look at Joe's head and then look at my corner. head. How much easier would it be to shoot Joe's wide ass? <laughs> <head? laughs> look like, look like you the got someone with a wide head going across the screen. Like, like, like Binky Barnes from the Arnold. It's so easy. But uh, the man in the chair, Tyler Stab, just sent me a message saying that Minecraft is still the number six most stream game on Twitch. That was the one thing I wanted I to say. Don't even, the, I don't even think it's fair to call it a game. Sorry, go ahead, now, sorry. Uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's more than it's just kind of like a playground, right? Like a like a, a big platform, old I think. yeah, it really platform is. Yeah. sandbox. Uh, number two, because we're we're going back. I'm just gonna take it back real quick to how we talk about oh, TikTok making us feel old. What the fuck is Wordle? Oh yeah, I have no idea. Wordle, uh, right, right now, Jeff, it is what's Wordle? That, it clutters my uh, Twitter feed, and that's it. I don't know what that is. I've heard. I've, I've have seen you seen people it saying? I've seen people talking about that it on sh- Twitter. Yeah, the blocks on people's tweets is like Wordle five out of six. I'm like, what the fuck does that even? What? Like here, let me know. go to Jack's Twitter. Yeah, Jack I is, saw that this Jack, morning. Jack is, the, Jack is the one that I've considered on following just just because of it. Jack is. It's, it's probably his latest. <laughs> time. One of his latest tweets. Here we go. Tough one this morning. Wordle two hundred one slash five out of six, and it's a bunch of blocks. What that what is the wordle, bro? I don't know. <clears throat> Before that, Wordle 200, six out of six, a bunch of blocks. Everyone's doing Here's this why, whole wordle thing. Here's why you don't know what it is. Because if Jack is excited about it, it's <laughs> not still or ever has been cool. Right? It's not like Jack is ahead of the game on you. 40-year-old Jack. Literally 40. He's 40 now. 40-year-old Jack did not scoop you on the new internet cool hit thing, buddy. That's how I it's feel, like, though. It does, it does feel that way. It's like, what is this, a Pokemon? Dude, what is this, like, a Digimon? I'm so confused. That means no, no, no. You know what those are, like, BK. Oh, you're okay. I know. You know what those are. I was like, if, if Jack is on this, how far behind am I in the Wordle <laughs> game you know what i mean are people out there in the street slanging and banging wordle i don't know what is it can i catch it like a pokemon i got, I got premium wordles wordle? for you right here here over here's a wordle you want to take the is it is it played through like a site and then people are just copying and, and, yeah. and it's like it's like hold on dope. what other no, no, kids say copy pasta on their twitters like i don't they'll give you I a hit of wordle has... and then you're addicted I love that you've put this much thought into it, Alfredo. And I can tell, I can tell it's like, it's like needling away at you a little it's bit. Trying to figure it out. But at no point did you take the 1.2 seconds required to Google it and find out. So, yeah. uh, so here's the thing. And, yeah. and, yeah. and obviously I could Google it, but here's, here's what I want. I want to speak to and learn about Wordle from these Wordlers. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want Word to be like, Lord. what is Word Lord. I don't know. Oh I don't know. That. I, want to, I want to be like, what's a Word Lord? Hold on. You've never Wordled. Let me tell you all about it. I want that experience. And I can't get that from Googling it. Oh my God. And I thought, look, I thought I, I threw this in like a uh, Let's Play recently. No one knew. And today I was like, bro, Jeff's got to know. You know, Je- Jeff and Jack, their annual pass, and Jeff's probably sitting there next to Jack, and Jack's like, Wordle, 500, two out of six, and just like, <laughs> didn't happen, I guess. Tough, tough one this morning. Yeah. Wordle. <laughs> yeah, it's a tough one this morning. Wordle, 205, five out of six. What is it? What is it? Okay, wait, 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 wait. So what do we think? Is it like some game? That you it's can a word game. Jenga? It's a word game. It's a word game. Well, it's got, what the fuck does the game. block have to do with anything? It the, was, greens, the greens are what you get right, shooter. and then the yellows are what you get wrong, I think, maybe. I don't know. No, because it what's the like, black? The black, yeah. Huh? He's got five out of un- six, so I'm confused. Oh, what is the five out of six here, then? Right, I think no, the correct is, word. There is more than five of those squares. No matter what Google this. That's what I'm saying. Like... This is the committee to figure out what the fuck Wordle this is. is. Like, we're, 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 like, we're like boomers trying to figure out the fucking internet right now. Hold on. No. Yeah. <laughs> is, is it trying to make a picture? Okay, so is... No. Is, okay, then like, why are we to, I need to go blocks. to this man's Twitter. Is the previous one like Wordle 200? 
So it's just like uh, like a wordle of the day. See, previous one's two hundred. Previous one is one ninety nine. Okay, so says, I think that on. number is is like I think you've sniffed out a pattern there, Alfredo. The wordle of the day. So this Average is wordle two hundred one. The I color don't... of the titles will change. No, no, no! You don't, you don't, don't you're Googling don't look, it. We got I'm not Googling, Googling it. I'm... Why? Why did you take it away? I can't. I can't break it down. It's just like. I don't yeah, think you can. We're scientists looking no through. There's no letters. How is it a word game and there's the no sample. letters? This, this looks like a this. hydrogen atom. I'm not sure. But where the fuck does the five <laughs> out of six come in from? Is this maybe a yeah, thing maybe... that you can scan and put that word like in? Like a QR type no. scan. QR maybe? You're also oh, there were even more? Literate six out of six. six. But it's six. not all green. No, he's that's five out of, what is that? 15, 16, 5 out of 16 is what he got, idiot. He doesn't know how to count. <laughs> <laughs> is it like... Oh, uh, no, there's 16? five... Oh, well, wait, Three six four, horizontal four. rows? Can, can we call Rob, Robert Downey Jr. to be the Sherlock Stop. Holmes of this, please? Thank you. <laughs> right? The six out of six has got to be the like the horizontal row. And then I guess it's Does six it? out of six because he has yeah. something in each row. It gotta be letters. Oh, that's true. Uh, Hold on, let me check. Let me check the previous wordles. Oh wait, wait. One, two, three, four. This one's birthday. Hey, this one. What this is one's from Jack on January third. Birthday wordle one ninety eight four out of six. <laughs> <laughs> and it's four. It's four horizontal rows. It must. Happy birthday so, to me. <laughs> what if? What if he's putting letters in? That's what I'm thinking. And yeah. He's find like there's six potential words here. And he's finding some of the letters in the words. I think it's one uh, word. It's and he's one word. he's got to find the letters. Like, see, right? Like, you never know, play the games where it's like, it'll be like yellow. Be like, okay, that letter might be right, but it's in the wrong place or something. Because like the same blocks stay green as he goes down. That's I mean, I have no six. idea. <clears throat> Wait. Oh, can you pull either. up the? Wordle 197 on January 2nd. Because let me clues. tell you, this is going to get a little wild because I didn't know that there's 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 more to it. Wait, there's oh, a Wordle every day. Is that what it is? It. I think there's a Wordle. I think the, the 200 or the 199 is like the Wordle of the day. <laughs> See, if Jack was here, he'd be very excited about this. He'd be, wor he'd be like, look, I mean, I'm a Wordler. Yeah. He'd, he'd be the, what is it's this? Right now. What is that? Could it be? Could that be their winter event? Oh, it could be the horrible <laughs> winter event. That's true. <laughs> he unlocked the I don't get it. I, uh, I don't get it. Wordle, so it must be with words. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. See, the middle be, green one is really green all the fast. way down. Do you get hints? It looks like a frog with two dispor like disproportionate <laughs> eyes. That's what it looks like to oh me. Oh my god. One looking up, one looking down, one eyes well, a lot bigger. Like those Joe, eyes. I, I, I really I see it, Joe. I really <laughs> see it. Like a little yeah. lizard. It's like a little lizard. Yeah. I see like, it. I do. I actually see yeah. it. <laughs> it's like a really low budget video gonna, game character. Well the well the mystery <laughs> continues because today I thought Jeff was gonna crack it wide open. I mean, I have now read about it, so I could. Oh, so you did read you about it. Do it. Oh, you know what? Right yeah. now, I, did. I think yeah. you should. Yes. Okay. Reveal it. What is Wordle? <laughs> Wordle is a deceptively simple daily word game where users can guess a random five-letter word of the day. Players get six chances to discover the correct word. That's what Wordle is. Oh, so uh, okay. the top. The top. How one do you is... play? <clears throat> I get it. The a perfect Users wordle would be one and prize. six. The one and six, yeah. yeah. Okay. The word is the same for everyone who plays the game that day. If a word guessed by a user has a letter that is the word of the day, but not in the right order, that letter box turns yellow. I said that. Uh, you did. In, nice. right, you did. You did. If any letters are incorrect and not included in the final word at all, the box turns gray. But uh -huh. if any of the letters guessed are in the word and are in the right position, the box turns green. Okay. What go. about white? I think he didn't know how to make uh, great squares. That was white. That yeah. was that was the Christmas skin. I think. Matt yeah. Was <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Jack bought the battle pass. He bought the battle pass. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's pretty much kind of what I thought it was. But I was just like, uh, that all I just all so, I saw. 
over well, the break. Now Wordle. the question the question is really quick. There was a day that he didn't tweet the word. Like that his wordle thing, right? Mm-hmm. Then that means he didn't get it that day, right? And he's just I, not telling us. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Okay. He's trying to hide his wonders. Good, good to know. Good to know. We gotta wait, see, see if he does it tomorrow. And if he doesn't, we gotta like tweet him. Like, All <laughs> of us. Yeah, we gotta tweet got, him. <laughs> where's the wordle? Wait on the wordle. Wait <laughs> wordle. <laughs> you just, you just te text him pictures of yourself with a watch going like <laughs> waiting for that wordle. <laughs> <laughs> waiting for the daily wordle upload. That. <laughs> <laughs> That's the tweet. <laughs> like every 20 minutes after like 6 p.m. Just where's the wordle, man? I, I need it. <laughs> Dear, I got Dear Jack, guess this five letter wordle. Starts with L, ends with R. <laughs> oh, no. Later. Wait. Close. Close. <laughs> Damn it. I'll get it one day. Uh, how about your uh how about your new year's holiday christmas alfredo um good? i i spent it just completely relaxing which is kind of really what i want to do um just being settled into the house and i don't know it, it was like a little like <clears throat> mental break for me because it was cool waking up every morning and then just seeing like jackie throw the ball around with gabu in the backyard and i was just like mm -hmm. yeah this is this is this is home and this is like what this is what we're gonna build off of and it was really cool to just relax like take care of things around the house it's very exciting but also uh, to sit there and go oh well this and that's an issue and oh that's broken now and <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah just kind of just yeah. like enjoying where i'm at and uh, uh it's awesome what we it's do for like presents and stuff like that i pretty much just go kind of with the whole like hey make a amazon wish list type thing because you can also throw in other links that aren't from like amazon and then from there i'm just like just throwing in you know the, the high stuff the mid stuff low stuff everything in between and um from there i just i just i'll pick stuff and so that's how i do that's how i do the gifts um nice. jackie got me that spider-man back there um which is my second like premium format statue hey which is really clean. cool it's like 20 oh. pounds I, yeah, I nice. need to see up close. I'm not gonna lie. I had to lift that box when Wait, I was. Wait, it's 20 there, pounds? I thought yeah, he was saying that's how that's much it cost, like big. pounds. The box was fucking ginormous. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I didn't. Box. 20 pounds. Yeah, look, look at them cheese. Look at his ass, just, bro. Yeah, show him that's the ass. fine. God damn. Yeah. damn. You can that see is a perfectly bro. sculpted man. Um. <laughs> yeah, they're like hand painted, hand sculpted, and I was like, I, I kind of want like two like high-end statues and um just to kind of like now, have them as a collection point of clarity mm -hmm. do you jack off to him or on him <clears throat> well he's shiny for a reason okay i just mm. want to make sure I was, yeah yeah oh. I, I don't, I don't yeah. know the protocol yeah how many sure. how many sessions have you had to get it all looking all like shiny and lubed up like that <laughs> it looks shiny. just yes <laughs> just a couple i mean back just in my couple? heyday would have been one but damn <laughs> oh so, shit yeah. The the Spider Man oh, can now day. stick to the wall, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Now it's like <laughs> You made me have an ass <laughs> oh, 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 Alfredo's really living that Spider Man life right now. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, uh, Mr. Spider-Man. Uh, oh, my God. Like a white it's, girl coming out of your body. Oh, huh? oh You're so God. sculpted, Mr. Spider-Man. extra sculpted. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Just to clarify, <laughs> though, which Spider-Man's under the mask? Hmm? Oh, yeah, we need oh, yeah. Is it Tobey Maguire? What, what's, what's up? Yeah, what's your personal? It preference? changes all throughout the day. I don't, oh, you know. Okay, that's well. the beauty of the mask. It can be anybody. Or it can anyone, be anyone I want. Oh my goodness! That's one way. That's one way to shine a statue. A little, a little, <laughs> yeah, little. you know what I mean. I spent that's a custom. I job. spent New Year's in typical, typical Texas fashion. Mm -hmm. I went swimming because it was warm. It was. Oh. Oh, you went swimming? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'm jealous we, of you guys. We, there's a little town, BK and, and Joe, when you guys uh, get here full time, there's a, there's a little town just east, southeast of Austin called Lockhart. And it used to be considered like the barbecue mecca of Texas. And I think Austin's kind of taken that thunder a bit when it became a foodie town. But there, I, I, we rented like a big ass old, like 100 year old home there that had a nice pool, wow. a, a heated pool. 
Uh, but I didn't need the heat because it was fucking like 75 degrees. And so we just ate barbecue and swam. But I'll, I'll take you guys down there sometime uh, so you can oh. sample all the barbecue mm-hmm. flavors. As, oh, long yeah. as, yeah, fun. as long as we do it on a day that Matt Bragg's not around. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to have to. Hey, Matt, what's your schedule? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm always here all the time, Joe. Don't yeah. worry. <laughs> always here. No, that'd be cool. It's you, been. Uh... You hugged me the last time I saw you, Joe. <laughs> I did. I, I did. This. It was I lovely. Hate this so much. I, I love you too, man. Well, mm-hmm. one thing I want to do during the summer, uh, once I mean at that, that point everyone's down here, is uh get drunk and float the river. I haven't the done river. that yet. And it oh, sounds see. like a blast. See, Tell Destiny about has, this uh, river. has done that before up in uh in Tahoe. So like I want to try it out. I'm just excited to be down there because it's been like single digit degrees here, and I'm I'm ready to get out of the uh cold. Uh, uh, in, uh, single digit, jeez. Mm-hmm. In, it's not uh, that bad in New York, Jesus. <laughs> I'm in danger of crossover material here, but Alfredo, while we do that, uh, which I think is a great idea, I'm inviting myself, by the way, uh, uh, because Gus and I were, were floating the river before any of you were alive. Uh, well, we need, but, we need uh, an experienced floater. Right, yeah, like I got the knowledge. And I'll also be the sober one that can keep you guys alive. Uh, Please, we need that. Yeah, you, you honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I've, seen, I've seen Gus get so drunk on a box of wine and just be like s- just slovenly passed out and like if he falls in the water he's it's over like there's no, there's no uh, i can see joe just anyway. be like uh, <laughs> what we should we should oh, the next weekend Here, let me we yeah jet ski gotta get you guys in the Dude. jet skis wait jet ski hell yeah yeah with jet 2021 was a big jet skiing year for gavin and and the fuckface crew and i yeah and we need so to, like uh, as someone who has motion sickness uh-huh it, 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 will that would i get hit with that martin springs uh no do you have you ever ridden a bicycle yeah you good with that yeah then you're good with this I'm well i'm not like i'm bike. not like <laughs> yeah that's the thing the bicycle yeah, doesn't right? like fluctuate yeah, the land underneath it. there's waves you're also, you're also kind of like lightly straddling like you's not like actually sitting on it right you're kind of like yeah you're more like riding sit- a horse yeah. Yeah. That's you how I feel, you yeah, know? Down. It's, it's <laughs> like a galloping. A control. <laughs> it's like what? It's kind of like riding a motorcycle more than anything, honestly. Oh. Okay. On water. <laughs> on water. Yeah. Like, let's not forget it's that it's awesome. on water that moves. Yeah, water. You're mostly water, BK. That's fine. Yeah, you're like 90% water. Yeah. Yeah. Just me. No, no one else. Thanks. Yeah, no one it's else. Kind well, like, yeah. It's kind certainly of like, certainly not me. We jet skiing, we're going home again to our mother ocean. <laughs> <laughs> dude um we gotta talk about water i've been watching this show on netflix called the silent sea it's a <sighs> korean science fiction thriller mystery it's like eight episodes long it's been pretty solid so far it's like the world's water population has drastically decreased and so what happened was there was a a uh, there was a just put it <clears throat> there's a moon well yeah there's a there's a base on the moon and pretty much there's a 24 well, hour mission then the the space explorers you to go there and try and re- receive uh samples from an abandoned research facility that's full of like classified secrets and stuff like that <clears throat> all while trying to figure out like how do we like help earth and what's going on, on earth it's been pretty, a pretty solid like mystery i want to watch is there it a season two or is it like does it wrap up at the end of season one? uh it's supposed to be a season two i believe Okay, cool. Has a lot yeah. of good Korean actors in it. I'm super like, oh yeah, to watch that. Uh, oh yeah. One of, the, one of them is couple... like the most famous one in there. I'm probably oh, pretty uh, sure about is Gong Yu. Gong Yu. Uh, yeah. yeah, he's uh, he's been in so many like big yeah. dramas and movies mm-hmm. lately. And uh, if you guys don't know who who that is, um, if you guys ever watched Train to Busan for the people in the audience, yep, he was uh, the, yes. uh, the main the dad, the main actor in it. Yeah. So, and um, yeah, there's other various actors too as well. So there was the um, oh, what is his name? Is it Eo Sung, I believe. He was like the uh, the mob guy in um, uh, Squid Game. Yes. Oh. Kind of like mobster guy. <laughs> but he's like a nerd here. But um, yeah, it's a it's a very intriguing show. It's, it's been a fun watch so far. I'm about to hit the finale. Now you and, just pushed um, me. It's in my queue. So you've put it up yeah. like higher on the priority list now, like 100%. Yeah. It's, you said it's, it's called solid. Open sea? Uh, the Silent Sea. Silent Sea? Silent Sea. Silent Sea. And it's Witcher on season Netflix. two was solid. On Netflix. Too. There was a lot of action in Witcher season yeah. two. Holy hell! Like season one, I was like, "All right, like we're occasionally fighting monsters and stuff." Season two was like this monster and that monster, and yeah, you gotta step good. it up, you know. 
Oh, for sure. I like my big like sounds a lot like, like ramp that up. Sounds a lot like what I'm watching, Real Housewives of Miami. <laughs> Very similar. This okay. monster and this yeah. monster. And yeah. 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 I mean, like, you know, there was another season of Selling Sunset. And no, it was. Oh, no, I watched it. Oh, you mean with the fucking, with the dog party drama? Holy Dude, shit. Dude, there was dog Wait, party put, tell drama. Us, tell us. It was a dog birthday party explosion because mm -hmm. Lindsay's friend showed up uninvited. Well, kind of invited, but uninvited. Kind of. Kind of invited. And uh, Mary was not having it. She was Wait, like, how do you get I'll kind of invited? Dog party. Yeah, I don't. Well, I'm trying to. Mary, uh, you can Mary come if you and want. I think. There's the two the, the 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 two twin brothers. I think it's Jason. Mary and Jason shared a dog together when they were when they were dating, and then they broke mm -hmm. up. And they they maintained joint custody of the dog, and oh so they had God. a dog party. Well, for two dogs, they had a big dog birthday party for their two uh, little babies. And I think he like was like, yeah, you can come, and uh, to Christine. And then Mary didn't know about it. So then when Christine rolled up, Mary was like, excuse me, yeah, yeah what is she doing party? here? <laughs> she is not invited. I was not invited to her baby shower. She did not <laughs> tell me. I had to find out she had her child on social media. I am not having it. Get her the fuck out. And then everything goes to hell. Bro, it's just drama. You're just like, mm -hmm. oh, man, you just thought a dog party was going to be chill, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's gonna turn out, <laughs> turns out it's going to be the, the major event of an entire season of that show. <laughs> <It really was. laughs> I love that show because there's, there's this, like, crazy drama like that and then like these um beautiful houses that you'll never step foot in your entire life they're like five I mean, could, million dollar houses ten million dollar houses you could step into them just not legally and it's like That's here funny. today we get to see french montana's house yeah today, his studio was NBA players house here's city was, bay's house or uh, whatever it's fucking <clears throat> yeah Pretty cool. they're all yeah, like totally multi-million cool. dollar mount mansions birthday party for oh i'm talking like five ten million dollar like houses or mansions like it's just really cool i don't know like um especially like you know last year getting into the whole process of like buying and owning a house and everything like that now every time i'm like looking at like real estate i'm just like oh man like like i don't know how like the way that fence lined up or they're too close to the highway for my liking like i drive around and see houses and i'm like on my analyzing like what i want that house like what do i like about it what do i not like about it and i do that for shows too when you get to see the interiors and you're just like i mm -hmm. like the way they did that kitchen and like it gives you ideas and sometimes you're like oh i would that never do will that never stop for the rest of your uh, life now see that you're a yeah. me and my I mean, that, yeah that, that is 100 percent true yeah that makes sense oh and hey oh, i just want to take a minute to thank our sponsors this episode of Bob Topic is brought to you by MeUndies. It's always new year, new me, and never new year, same me, because I'm perfect. Well, you are perfect, even if your underwear drawer is a little dull. So you don't have to change, but maybe your undies should. And MeUndies has the most fun and comfy undies in the universe. I mean, what's not to love? They're comfortable, they're easygoing, tons of great designs and colors, and they're really, really soft. It's just what you want in an underwear. Someone wise once said, refresh your underwear drawer and you'll refresh your life. Actually, I kind of feel that <laughs> with super soft undies, socks, and bramlets that come in everything from classic to adventurous prints, you can build a collection that not only makes you feel comfortable, but also expresses your personality. Keep the refresh going all year long with a Me Undies membership, a subscription that sends new styles right to your door. With site white savings and exclusive sales, you'll automatically pay less for everything. MeUndies has a great offer for our listeners. For any first-time purchasers, you get 15% off and free shipping right to your door. To get 15% off your first order, free shipping, and 100% satisfaction guarantee, go to MeUndies.com slash off topic. That's MeUndies.com slash off topic. And we're also sponsored by ExpressVPN. What if there was someone out there following you around, creepily taking creepy notes in their creepy notepad about every single thing you did? Pretty messed up, right? Well, that's what happens when you go online without ExpressVPN. Your internet service provider can store logs of every site you've ever visited and then sell that data to anyone, literally anyone. But ExpressVPN reroutes your internet connection through their secure servers so your ISP can't see anything. Plus, ExpressVPN servers all run in RAM, which means they can't store any data, which means no logs of your activity. 
In fact, ExpressVPN is so confident in their no logs policy that they even had one of the biggest assurance firms, PricewaterhouseCoopers, audit their technology. I've been using ExpressVPN for over a year now, and it's nice to know that whenever I log on and do something, that my data is secure. Um, a lot of times before, and I'm sure a ton of you guys experience, when you go and you look up something or you go to one of the shopping apps or whatever, and you're, you're looking at the shopping sites and you're typing things in, all of a sudden you get a plethora of ads on all of your like social media networks and all that kind of stuff, just advertising all the stuff that you just looked at. Well, it's because they're, you know, the data is getting out there quick. So stop letting people keep logs of what you do online. Visit expressvpn.com slash off topic right now and find out how you can get three months for free, a quarter of a year. That's expressvpn.com slash off topic, expressvpn.com slash off topic to learn more. And lastly, we're also sponsored by Upstart. New year, new you, a you with less debt. This is the year you want to get on the path to financial freedom. Upstart can help. Upstart is the fast and easy way to pay off your debt with a personal loan all online. Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, over a million people have used Upstart to get one. Fix monthly payments with a clear payoff date. Hmm, kind of nice. Rather than looking at credit scores online, Upstart considers other factors like your income, current employment, and credit history to find you a smarter rate on your loan. You can check your rate without impacting your credit score in minutes for loans between $1,000 to $50,000. You can even receive funds as fast as one business day after accepting your loan. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash off topic. That's upstart.com slash off topic. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know that we sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain information provided by your loan application. Upstart.com slash off topic. But hey, if you're a first member, which is why you're here, you don't have to worry about that. With first, you get content early, no ads, and even early access to special events. Also, we now have our first members premium RSS feeds. It's ad-free on most podcast platforms, and you get it early. You can subscribe now to the new RSS feed. Click the link in the description, or if you're a first member, don't. Yeah, I'm not going to force you to do anything. I don't, you know, I mean, it'd be cool if you did. But, you know, just want to take a second to say thank you, first members. Um, you really, like, help us create and live the content that we want to do. And, uh, I mean, like, just the other week, I was playing Apex with Joe. And when he ran in solo and died because he just has that solo octane mentality. And my bag was up against the wall. I was like, I don't know how I'm going to get out of this. And it was the first members that really, like, were the wind beneath my wings and helped me clutch that situation. So, thank you, first members, for always being there for me. <laughs> that was that was very heartfelt. That was yeah. shots fired. <laughs> not supposed to be talking about that shit. Okay. <laughs> Dude, we had a situation where we were playing Apex, and there's like three. You know, obviously, it's teams of three. There's mm -hmm. a team that had like total like height elevated advantage. <laughs> this man, juiced up his, he was octane. You know, he juiced up, he ran super fast, ran on over, and obviously myself and uh, I think it was PETA, who's with Hang Time, were like, oh, we got to go in after you. We got to uh, go in and support you. I, don't, I think it was Artie. It might have been Artie. It was Artie. I think it was Artie. We jumped in. Uh, we got destroyed. This guy is, like, speeding away and turns around and goes, whoa, what you guys follow me for? And I was like, what? Your team, we're backing you up. He's like, oh, I wanted to go in and do a, a, a trick shot. And I went, I, I will kill you. I will, I will, I will listen, listen, listen. Kill you where right. you stand. It's, like, well, I mean, we, me and Alfred to talk about this a lot, right? It's like, I, I, I do a lot of stuff with, like, other people now. And we do, like, a lot of team play. But I played Apex solo for so long. It just became, like, my life. It's so hard to break out of that, right? Like I was doing content by myself every single day. I had to think about what sh what shit to do, and it was just like now that we play in like a big group and everything, it's like, man, I need to, I need to think, I need to think a little bit more about that because it's just so hard to break out of the mentality, you know? Oh like, yeah. Oh, but you're yeah. by yourself. You're yeah. you're you're doing things that you normally do, and like especially in a game that was so familiar for me. For I played it for two and a half years straight. It was yep. like it was like second nature, you know? It's just. It does. It does make for like uh, a fun task for me, where I just look on the map and I go, no, 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 joke, joke, come back, 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 no, no, come back, really come back, back. we're not there yet, we're not there. It's like a dog on a leash. We're just like, oh, I hear, I hear shots. I'm like, no, 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 joke, joke, calm down, calm down. We're not, we're not ready yet. Hold on. I smell the gunpowder. I'm like a bloodhound. <laughs> 
Dude, it's kind of like the uh, a little small era of like shooters for achievement hunter. You know, you got Joe BK now. They're 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 gunners. They're ready to like shoot anything digitally. Um, I'm excited as a as an old FPS player myself. Yeah, I'm excited. We're gonna be doing a lot more shooters yeah, you're and so stuff. Old. Yeah, Jeff. Let me tell you, <laughs> <clears throat> when I when I saddle back up. And I go through, I'm like, all right, time to warm back up. Let's get back into it. I'm like aim training. And then all of a sudden it's like, ah, my head, ah, it locked up. Oh, oh and then no. I look at, or if it doesn't lock up, I look at my scores and I go, ooh, my reaction time ain't what it used to be. It's been <laughs> spending too much time in the bathroom. Mm. Old, too much time with Spider-Man. With Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're all worn out from your spider time. Uh, <laughs> over there. It's Spidey. Show me pictures of Spider-Man. Spidey, you're all so sticky now, but now I cannot play my games. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was worth it. doesn't it. get any easier from here on out, Alfredo. It just gets worse every day. I, I just found out I have, uh, I have arthritis in my spine of all no. places. No. Oh. Uh, what are you going to do? But that's but uh, but I'll tell you what you're gonna do. You're gonna get it too someday. You're all gonna have arthritis in your spine. So because uh, it just run the, around the, now while you can. I the, feel uh, tons of sitting down. I just, no, I just have shitty genetics. Damn, only got has anything to do no. with sitting. Goddamn genes. <laughs> age, yeah. Just age and genes. Yeah. See, me and Jeff had a conversation when, uh, when I was visiting Austin about back problems because, like, I've my family has back problems, but I personally have had so many injuries to my back that, like, I already feel it. Like, when it gets cold here, I'm like an old man. I'm like, oh, God, can't fucking sit up straight. It hurts. Dude, like, that's how I That's how yeah. I am with my ankles because I sprained them, like, four or five times each just playing, like, yeah. sports. Mm -hmm. Same, when it gets yep. cold, your, like, ankle is just, like, it's, it hurts and it aches. I'm like, whoa, mm -hmm. that's a thing. It's just, it's very weird. See, and I've then got, for me. Yeah. Go oh, ahead. go ahead, Matt. No, no, no. Go, go ahead. Fish, fish. Oh, I said, um, dude, that like I have back issues now, and it was just like, it upsets me because there was a solid two years where I work out six days a week, two hours at the gym. I'm counting macros and everything like that, and I worked out a ton, and I stopped working out. Then after two years, my I sitting down. I remember sitting down in the office, right. And all of a sudden, it's like my back was hurting. And then by the end of the day, like I was just kind of like, kind of like this to the car. And by the time I like was, I don't know, time to sleep, I couldn't like physically move or get out of bed. And uh, went to the doctor, um, aching in pain. Um, <laughs> it was funny because like I went to use the restroom that night and I got stuck on the toilet and I had to have Jackie come in, like grab me up because my back was in that oh, much no. pain. Ooh. And I went to the doctor, and the doctor was like, you used to work out a lot, didn't you? And I'm like, yeah. And he was like, she was just like, oh, yeah, so your back, your spine got used to all the muscle support that it used to have. Now that it doesn't have it, 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 it misaligned itself. It threw itself out. And so you need to, like, get back in the gym and keep working out and keep doing it. And so I was just like, what? So not only did I lose all of my gains, all, like, the muscle that I had, I was like, now physically – I'm like deteriorating because of the fact that I worked out so much and then I just stopped cold turkey. You fucked your health by being healthy. Way to go, buddy. That's yeah. what I'm saying. That's not going to yeah, happen to me. Whole fuck. That's what I'm saying. Me and Matt are right here. Problems you know, can't no workout you squad. You <laughs> out, the picture you know? of health by doing nothing. <laughs> nothing. For everyone, it's like, oh, go touch, go touch grass, gaming nerd. That's what happens when you touch grass or touch iron. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I was no, like, dude. That's sucks my my <laughs> ankles like i I've, I've got like a bunch of my joints are just double jointed and uh i've sprained my ankle like a while ago and it'll kind of hurt every once in a while when it gets like cold or, or whatever but sometimes it'll just pop into the other joint and i'm like oh my god i complete mobility i can do anything now and then like it pops right back and i go oh damn it i'm, I'm fucked again Dude, Matt, it was maybe like year one or or year two that i was at a team we all went to um this chicken it was, place it was like your first week man like oh, i think we early? were it we were going been. to lunch with you because like you had just like gotten here and yeah let's it, ask that, jack yeah, was yeah. Just, jack was like that was just two weeks ago wordle <laughs> um but uh no i just i remember like there was a big booth and like i went in you're gonna go right past me because i was on the end and then you're gonna you gotta scoot right past me and i saw you like step over and as you stepped down 
your I just saw your knee go and like buckle to the yeah. side. And I just Ooh. went, Oh my god. And then Matt was like, uh, it just kind of like popped it back. And yeah, it's like, no, nah, I nah, like I looked okay. down at I'll it and fine. I was like, wait a minute, that's wrong. <laughs> And I, Dude. Yeah, I popped it back in. I didn't feel it at all. His, and his then, uh, kneecap literally went sideways, and I went, "Holy shit!" And he just went, mm. "It's like that's okay. That'll be fine." I went, "I'll be fine." No, no, no. Should you oh, like see a doctor nah. or something like that? By the right. end of the meal, Matt was in a lot of pain, and then was I believe went to like the ER. Well, yeah, doctor. and that was that was like what what had happened was like yeah, my kneecap just popped out. Oh and my it's, god! It's, it's like because again, I've got like two joints right there. Mm -hmm. So my knee was like, I can fit in either of these. And then in between going between them, it was like, never mind. I'll go over here now. <clears throat> um, and yeah, all, all that happened was it just, it popped out. And the doctor was like, yeah, that might happen again. And I'm like, oh, well, it didn't feel too <laughs> great after like an hour. And she was like, oh, it shouldn't. But it felt fine when you put it back in, right? <laughs> and she, and she was like, I just go, yeah, it, it was okay. But like yeah. Like hitting a shoulder. Yeah, kind of. It's, it's just Probably. like the the tendon there just didn't hold on to it for a little bit and then oh. uh when i popped it back in it was like man you shouldn't have put that out you're man. making my knees hurt like my knees no. oh. that knee, that sounds that like knee when feels the... great now though more mobility than ever it sounds to like when a gi joe gets popped out of his <laughs> leg pocket and you have to, you have to figure <laughs> out why are you popping my legs yeah. out hand breaking oh. yeah <laughs> well, see, now, now that it's happened once it's like it's not gonna hurt it to do it again right I built up uh, a unit. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Yeah, I, don't know. I don't know. I will say though, run, don't walk. To Dude. see AH live and Matt's knee get popped live on stage. Tickets oh! are on sale right now. We're back on, fire. on tour. We've missed our community. We can't wait to see everyone this year. More info is at uh, bit.ly slash age live tour. And also if you have any uh you know concerns or whatnot of how how you we're going to kind of uh, security reasons for COVID and all that kind of stuff for the event. All the information is right there. Tickets are on sale now for first members um, tomorrow at 12 p.m. Central. Uh, tickets go on sale for the general public. March 31st, we're at Seattle at the Moore Theater. Then April 2nd, we're in my hometown, San Francisco, at the Gary Theater. April 3rd, we'll be in Los Angeles at the Novo. So come see us play games live, all the shenanigans, and maybe you'll see Matt's knee pop out. Man, yeah. Jack said I'll I was going to get lit on fire. Oh, really? He normally doesn't tell you this far away. Because well, then you have time to think about it. Well, you know? Jack Jack told me that I was getting lit on fire. is something I didn't know, but you know what? I might as well do it. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah. We do that, and then the segment before that, we bring Matt on stage, right? Mm -hmm. And then we line up a ton of <laughs> booths, and Matt has to <laughs> sit, go in and out of yeah, all the I'll booths. Go in and out. <laughs> <laughs> no, like at the very end, my knee is still like popping out completely, and I just don't feel it. I go, ah! oh, <laughs> so we're gonna shake your kneecap, Matt. Do a three sixty and end up back where it started. Oh, dude, I'll I'll work on that. I'll, I'll flex it a certain way. I'll just poof, like a whole routine. Around. Yeah, you're gonna be great on your five k. I can't wait. Oh my god. <laughs> Matt, oh gonna, my god Matt's gonna lose both his kneecaps yeah. so, <laughs> so Matt have you done anything to train for the 5k well I don't want to mess my back up so no true. <laughs> oh, that's, true. Jesus. that's true you train yeah. now you're gonna have to train yeah. forever <laughs> wait do I do I have to do the 5k okay uh, so yeah yes Jack kind Everybody, of just yeah. went, everyone's going to do it. He went, did, yeah. Well, I mean, to be fair, Fredo, he kind of went, Matt's going to do it and without asking me or anything. So that is true. Well, it it, does, it well, seems no. really fair that everyone has to do it now. There was the, I mean, this was obviously, this was during Extra Life. And it I was. believe it was um, put on the table that like if someone throws down like a 5K donation or something like that. And Matt's going to have to run a 5K. But I specifically said Jack. And then he just said anyone. And then at that point, mm, there it is. He he yeah. spoke louder, and I just said, "But wait!" And then it already happened before I could say anything else. And that's how Matt's gonna <laughs> well, get out of it. Yep. Yeah. You no. Know, <laughs> I'll Matt. do it. Has hashtag we can't say for the kids anymore. Remember, we're doing it for them. It's true. It's it, it, we you're can't say it, you're, but you're, you're we're doing, doing, you're doing a good thing, buddy. Yeah. yeah. I have asthma. Same. I yeah, literally I mean, have almost had two asthma attacks laughing on this off Joe, topic today. Joe, me, me too, but that's not going to stop me. Come on. No, it'll be me and Matt in the golf we cart. We'll be we like the water boy and girls. This, like, 
Yo. We're supposed to form this like alliance. And we're supposed to like, like and build he this just bubble, threw us under the bus. A bubble of asthma and you just burst it. Now I can't. <laughs> and, and now I can't get out of it. <laughs> we'll, we'll be on the golf cart. We'll have all the waters and the towels, you know? Yeah. It'll be good. And yeah. I'll be like, you know, riding a skateboard on the golf cart and it'll be fine, you know? We'll pull you around. You'll yeah. like on ground jet ski oh, with the dude, skateboard. That's yeah. super dangerous. On the back of the. I've done that before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah i like, assume matt's gonna have a plan a b c d etc. yeah like i think e to <laughs> z would probably be walking like whatever, whatever yeah. the last those one is plans involve yeah. matt starting and finishing that race <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> honestly five, how many miles is a 5k about three miles about three miles it's, I not, long. it's not long barely won one mile I, I oh my do when i uh um when I was like kind of working on stuff in the age community, I would wake up in the morning uh, and I would walk around my neighborhood and do like a, a one mile away, one mile back. So that was, that was two. So I just, just throw it, another one on there. I'll be all right. Is that How long when ago? you were training for your Pokemon competitions? Uh, <laughs> I didn't need to train for those, first of all. But, uh, <laughs> but yes, it was. But it was a long time ago. So yeah, probably. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I think I could probably still do it. I didn't train for that. I just walked every once in a while. I mean, look, no one said you had to run it. Exactly. I'm not going right? to run it. I think that's the biggest you know? thing. We'll, we'll be in the back it. walking, playing oh, yeah. Pokemon I'm, Go. I'm remembering when we went to, to Paris. I, 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 think, I think I walked more than three miles in a day. Not, not, not quickly. <laughs> well, <laughs> Alfredo and I, I don't know about you, Alfredo, but I have distinct memories of watching Matt try to make it up the gentle slope. In front that, of was, the that wasn't a gentle slope, slope first of all. But second of all, I had all the equipment in my bag. Yeah. Likely so, story. Well, I, 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 Likely I story. I don't remember walking and talking with Jeff, and it'd be, you know, then after five minutes, we look back and go, Oh, he's really back there. <laughs> Do we wait? Do we go back and help him? Yeah, sure. Do we like help him up or? <laughs> I can't remember if that was the week I went on like six trips. I think it might have not been because there was. The... No, it wasn't. There was one where uh, we went to Vancouver, Fredo, you, me and Jeremy. And my feet mm -hmm. were like destroyed because I had just gotten back from going to Disneyland. Yes. Uh, with uh, Fiona and Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Which um, I, I'm. Pretty sure since the last thing we the we do on the age tour is in LA, I'm I'm sure Jack's gonna throw out, let's go to Disneyland. Oh yeah. I mean yeah, my, yeah, my full plan is to stay there for a few days after that and just go to Disneyland with Casey. I think we're gonna do some annual pass stuff while we're there. Oh, it's awesome. I mean while y'all yeah. are there. I'm, I'm not fact, saying that I'm there. I've never gone oh, to Disneyland. <laughs> in that case, I've never I'll been wait. to Disneyland either. I've been well, to Disney World. I used to live in Cali, oh. and my family's gone, but I've never personally gone to Disneyland. Is Disney World cooler? I've only yes. been to Disneyland. It's much bigger. Yes, it <laughs> yes no yeah. hesitation. Sounds, yeah. Well, yeah. the world sounds cooler, a lot honestly, bigger than the land. That's, that's the thing. Is like Casey, you don't know if it's cooler? Uh, what? Disneyland is so charming, and it feels charming, but... like there's a, different, there's a different vibe to it. They're both awesome and wonderful for what they are. I, I will say, I, I run a podcast where I listen to Jack tell me this shit all day long. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See, I, I, will, I will say, like, Disneyland yeah, uh, is definitely more digestible. Yeah. Right? Where it's like, there's only like two parks technically, and you can kind of go back and forth between them. And that's like, that can be like your a good day. Disney World, you kind of got to be like, all right, we're going to Magic Kingdom today. And yep. that's it. Yeah. <laughs> mm. And I mean, the nice thing about Orlando too is you've got Universal, and there's so much else yeah. there as well. So I mean, there really is a a ton more shit to do at Disney World, and it's far more grand. There's just something <clears throat> really charming about Disneyland. Where is the Avengers Tower? It's a World or Land? New York. Land. Oh, yeah, New York. land. <laughs> it's it definitely land? not it's a Disney land. World. It's Disneyland like, for sure. The Galaxy Tower and. Florida, I think, is what no. it is, right? They well, wherever it, they the it, Marvel stuff leave, is, so that's where Star I want to go. Yeah, there's Star Wars stuff in Florida. Yeah, yeah Star Wars, in Star Wars stuff California, is in California, too, California, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've never been. I've always wanted to go to Disneyland because during the holiday season, they always change the Haunted Mansion into the Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, and like, the Nightmare awesome. Before Christmas is my favorite movie of all time. I've <clears throat> always wanted to go to see is that happen. Is it a happen. Christmas movie or is it a Halloween it's movie? It's both. Interesting. 
could That's be both. A totally valid answer, by the way. It's an Easter yeah. Bunny movie. <laughs> it is valid. <laughs> Well, especially like door. with how things how things are now. It's like <laughs> at the day Halloween happens, it's like, yo, there's Christmas stuff in yeah. the stores right now. If you if you want to go get it. Mm. No, so. dude, the single day after Christmas, I was so pissed. Everything in the store was Valentine's Day stuff, y'all. Yeah. Not even New Year's. Nothing. Like I was trying to get, you know, like a little streamer or something, or a little, you know, I'm looking for silver or gold, and I'm just seeing pink chocolates hearts. little hearts i was like what is happening yeah little butt naked was, baby cupid yes <laughs> i was at hobby lobby like three days before christmas to buy some extra ribbon for some packages some wrapping and uh they were like duct taping up the fucking christmas stuff and putting out saint patrick's day shit of all things i was like really Wait, Skip what? Day all together yeah, they had like Tupperware bins of St. Patrick's Day stuff they were pulling down to put up and replace uh, and replace the Christmas stuff with. What is it just based off yeah. of what sells? Right? Is, isn't that why we skip That's how Thanksgiving? Most shit works. Yeah, yeah, for the most part. Well, well Thanksgiving, most you don't really need to buy anything. Just buy yeah. turkey. Well, or I mean, if you are it's like so buy to, it's dressing, so close to Christmas, it's all, you know, you it's, all hard to right? it's like non-scary Halloween stuff is is Thanksgiving stuff. Yeah, yeah. kind of. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't um, think about that. Like a, a a pumpkin with nothing, you know, cool looking yeah. on it, or yeah. lots of yeah. oranges, a, some a, leaves. A gourd. Yeah. That's a, that's the use of a gourd, right? A gourd. Yeah. yeah. A lot of corn yeah. stalks and shit, bales of hay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a giant ass turkey that. I, blows I replaced up. the yeah. couch with a bale of hay. You know, that's a really uh, good yeah. theme. Sidebar: I have a question for Jeff. Um, what is the fuck face energy drop Vancouver child kicker? Mmm, <laughs> chicken child. You, you don't know what the you don't know what the Vancouver Vancouver child kicker is? No, dude. What did Pant do? Out, you should check out the fuck face podcast. Oh. We discovered that Andrew that there is a person in the city of Vancouver who's running around kicking children in the chest. <laughs> I'm Police sorry. Are what? What? <laughs> Police are looking for it everywhere. We're what? reasonably certain it's Andrew. Uh, we don't know for a fact, but we're <laughs> we're looking into it. As a matter of fact, Fuckface wants to get into because true crime podcasts are a real big deal. And I'm not stepping on your toes here, uh, uh, Alfredo. I promise with Red Web. But because uh, because true crime is such a big deal these days, we want to solve a mystery. So I'm thinking maybe in 2022 <laughs> we try to get to the bottom of who the Vancouver child kicker is. But uh, yeah, so it's turned into a whole merch thing. I think we have a skateboard and a sweater. <laughs> well, there's tomorrow, there's a, a shirt yeah. and are a you, sweater, yeah. and it's the uh, the VCK, which is the Vancouver Child Kicker, and it's the VCK Champion Heavyweight shirt. Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? <laughs> and it's literally it's a, boot, it's a boot print. <laughs> it's a boot print on the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that fucking look at awesome. that. <laughs> what the. It's one of the best pieces of merch we've ever made. Yeah. <laughs> in the chest. Jeff, I mean, that's where the yeah, that's where the boot was going. No, 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 I'm just still processing, like someone fixing themselves to perfectly did just. Do you guys you know, measure the, the, the shoe size? Do you guys measure the shoe size and get that accurate at least on the on the shirt? <laughs> yeah, is that evidence? Yeah. yeah. Is the evidence? You guys like, go to like crime scene. You guys like to, like. Jeff, how are you going to solve the crime? You can, if we also have something that's, with you, how do you solve the crime? Uh, well, you know, if you watched Only Murders in the Building, you would notice that they, were, that they had to deal with some stuff like that, too. We'll figure it out. Also, okay. uh, the uh, Fuckface, you guys don't know this either because you don't listen to Fuckface, but the Boys of Zimmer shirt and fucking <laughs> flag that you can wave proudly at full mast in front of your house or your school or your state capital <laughs> or your, your country capital, maybe your embassy in whatever country you're in. I got one right here. It's vinyl. Look at this. Isn't this awesome? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my! For fuck's sake! Wait, is that who's in the background on the me, right? So, all right. So I'll show you. So there's uh, there's me. There's a, obviously Gavin <laughs> over here. Then me in the middle, Andrew, and then our manager slash uh uh boss uh ca cowboy ca cowboy Eric Bador there. <laughs> you can disapprovingly. What in the fuck? <laughs> awesome yeah we're, we're real excited about this drop we got some, some <laughs> real unique merchandise coming out of uh coming out of uh well fuck oh, that's awesome 
fucking ridiculous. <laughs> I'm going to buy a flagpole and install it at my new house just to put that you up. You should. <laughs> That's, I would, then, dude, I, I would, I'll get you a free flag. Your HOA is going to go, no, 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 no. Like, yeah, no, 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 no. HOA <laughs> will not have that. <laughs> do you guys, do you homeowners have HOAs where you live? I have an HOA, yeah. 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 I do. I know. I wish you guys, I wish, I, I, t- I tried to warn you, Alfredo. I wish I'd had a chance. Fuck the HOAs. They're gonna <laughs> yeah, fuck them. No, they do. Like, honestly, it's so stupid because uh, HOAs basically don't do anything and they just take your money and then yeah, they tell you what the fuck to do with your house. But here's yeah. the thing. It's, yeah. Karen, it's the Karen Mafia is what it is. It, yeah. it really it really is. And the only reason why I'm okay with that is because I've grown up on two different ghettos and each time I'm like, man, we really can't let motherfuckers out here do whatever they want yeah. on the front yeah. lawn. Yeah. Because people will be but building stuff that's so high or super trashed up or I'm just saying when, when my neighbor has a ton of shit that's like, what's that? You gotta clean that shit up. I don't want to look at that. I just go, ah, HOA's gonna get on it. Dude, I've seen your. You showed me pictures of your house. You bought a seventeen million dollar selling sunset mansion. It was like a private, yeah. in a private gated community with a security guard. Mm-hmm. There's no way there that you don't need an HOA. Uh, that 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 kind of money takes care of itself, Alfredo. Joe, uh, BK, uh, I'm gonna tell and Matt. I'm gonna tell. I'm not gonna do it here because I've told the story a million times on a million podcasts, and I don't want to get the Bernie hit where they just talk about how I tell my same stories over and over again. Uh, but I'll tell you off camera about how my house was stolen from me by the HOA and how much money it cost me to get it back. Oh, I've heard horror stories about that. I've I'm heard horror stories. Invested. And I need I to hear this. Pulled it out what? from under me. Yep. That sounds yeah. gross and terrifying. And they'll do it to you too if you live in the state of Texas. No. No. Well, I'm a mansion. Uh, Alfredo, I need to talk to HOA. I'm trying to buy your mansion for free. <laughs> I'm trying to buy it. <laughs> By the way, Alfredo, I was guessing on the on the value of your house. <laughs> Just you know. uh, what well, I mean, it's, it's, it's uh, 18.5 oh. million. 18.5. Oh, because, oh. Uh, okay. you know, wow. the bubble is growing. Wow. Well, you told yeah, me so. when you bought the house, it was like, you know, 10 million. You made a lot of money. Off Dude, of I made wow. so much money and it came with NFTs. It was fucking wild. But holy shit. There we are. <laughs> Here wow. we are, baby. Yeah. Like they, they just left like a like a like a thumb drive behind. They were just like, yeah. Hey. There's a thumb drive, and they were like, you know, they were like, hey, welcome to, like, hey, well, welcome hell, to the neighborhood. Welcome to the neighborhood, you rich son <laughs> of a bitch. And then there's NFTs, <laughs> and then also like all NFT. of the like houses are built on uh, Ethereum. Um, so we oh, just mine that. Wow. They yeah, found we found a way it. to materialize Ethereum. Yeah. So we mine it, and then we make more money off that. And so, nice. oh. the gas costs on your house must be brutal. Yeah, pretty brutal. But the NFTs, wow. they um, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, they make like, up for it. Yeah. Like living in like a Minecraft house. They took a, a shard of Ethereum and turned it into a block. Well, that's the metaverse, and I bought real estate there too. You did? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, next to next to the guy that bought the house next to Snoop Dogg. I bought. Okay, that got house. it, got it. <laughs> oh, good, yeah. good. Did you yeah. guys know that problem. Rooster Teeth, Rooster Teeth actually has one NFT? Are you aware of that? No, I was not aware of that. No. no. Yeah, we have a legitimate, honest like Rooster Teeth made it. We sold it NFT. I will, I will link it to you guys in the chat. It's about oh a year old. At this point. Wait, it's, really? Yeah, it. yeah. It's a, it's pretty cool too. It is. Uh, it's the it's the first NFT ham sandwich. Yeah, you can see it right there in the chat. Oh, oh wow! This is, um, I wish what? I wish I wish the audience could see this because this is absolutely amazing. This well, they the, uh, one of the audience bought it. Somebody out there owns it. It's not for sale anymore. I would love oh, to buy it back, but I wonder. I wonder how it's being preserved. <laughs> it's one of one. <laughs> yeah, it's mustard paint on a slice of bread. That says one of and one for and audio. You know. listeners. Listen, listen. The, the true one. value. The true value of the NFT is Jeff's saliva, the DNA. Yeah, on that sandwich. I, and and that's an that's an honest to god paintbrush. I painted that mustard on with a paintbrush. That makes it art. <laughs> And you oh, can yeah. watch this video of me consuming the sandwich because that's the it's that's that's the brilliance of it is is you buy the you buy the ham sandwich which no longer exists on this plane because I ate it and pooped it out almost immediately. <laughs> but you have you you that this person that owns it owns the moment I created and ate that sandwich. Rooster's only NFT right there. Wow, there you go. <laughs> dude! How much? How much? How much? Did, how much, how much, how much did you sell it for? How, how much Ethereum did you sell it for, Jeff? I sold it for one. It was about like, three hundred 
about a hundred bucks, I think. I don't remember exactly how much. I was gonna say one Ethereum, but that ain't right because that'd be like well, it's like that's the wrong that's a lot of right right that's a yeah. good chunk of money. Yeah. You see yeah. the person that bought he like bought an NFT NFT for like three hundred thousand and then accidentally mm-hmm. sold yeah. it for three thousand because he messed up the decimal point. Yep. And, yeah, yeah. Wait, really? Yeah. I think it was one of the bored apes, right? Yeah, yeah. I think it was a yeah. bored ape. Yeah, yeah. accidentally saw, and it immediately got bought because obviously people have. Bots oh, running and everything for NFTs, and they buy them immediately as soon as it hits the fucking page. So I know because I was like, "Hold on, some of these NFTs are like a couple hundred, and I'm like, hey, what if you just mess around, just grab one real quick?" But yeah, they're they're swooped up immediately. Yeah, I thought I thought the other day I thought, well, all the NBA players have them. I'm gonna go see how much it is to get one of these board apes, and uh, and it, it turns out I'd have to sell Alfredo's house to do it. So I can't. <laughs> that's yeah. true. Jeez. That is true. And oh, okay. I'm gonna join the the HOA to do it. <laughs> <laughs> that's where I'll buy. That's actually how I'll buy your house. I'll buy it from the HOA when they try to fuck you over. I still can't believe that happened to you. I'm sorry, Jeff. Yeah. Oh, well, it's okay. I've had ten years to get over it, but <laughs> or, or longer. Well, but, uh, it's it clearly, you've good. clearly gotten over it. You've it, moved past it. It's like trauma, though. Oh. Traumatizing. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was the second offense. The first offense, too, was when I painted my house a, a, a color that I got approved by the HOA twice, and then they came and told me they didn't like it, and I needed to repaint my house. And that was when I, I almost got in, pro, in trouble because I, I went to the, my, the president of the HOA's house, and I told him to come out of his front lawn so I could beat the shit out of him, and I was going to kill him <laughs> in a minute. And then, like, so he ran inside and hid. But I could have gone to jail that day, and I recognized that I got lucky, but I was mad enough to, to strangle him to death uh anyway so i got i got got a lot of issues that i'm working through uh, inside and in (laughs) (laughs) never saw him again he told me he was calling the cops ran inside i heard him slammed his door locked it told me he was calling the cops and i stood out there for a minute and then i went home what would you have done if you just took his shirt off and just went yeah (laughs) yeah (laughs) what would i have done i would have beat him into the ground (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh man i've been oh, waiting for this <laughs> oh God it's an unhinged an unhinged like, president of the hoa how are you gonna how are you gonna tell somebody you how yeah, are you gonna send out an email to an entire hoa and say hey all of your houses are old and fucking gross paint them and i and then i come out and i say you know what i'll paint my house only one in the fucking neighborhood who did by the way and they're like cool just submit your four house colors and we'll pick one for you and i go well i'd like to pick the color and they go that's not how it works you submit four colors and we'll pick one and i submit four colors and they go we don't approve any of these so i submit four more colors and they go we like that one and i go are you sure and they go yeah and i go okay and i paint the house that color and then they come to me and they go we changed our mind you need to repaint it and it was like 15 what? grand and i was like yeah, well no they need to can't you like no, now you now they they already, they already approved it <clears throat> yeah can't you take him yeah, to court exactly. for that because like a paper i would trail? yeah wouldn't that wouldn't that be considered for, like small claims I tried to take him to the octagon. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it wasn't. It wasn't too long after that they stole my house from me. Anyway, so but yeah. Oh Jesus, that's, that's crazy. Dude. Had nothing that's ridiculous. To I need to get out of here. Yeah, be careful. Yeah. Be careful. <laughs> no, I need to move. After I what I'm gonna do is after we wrap up, live in a house. Uh, yeah. off topic, and in the post show, I'm gonna get into my golf cart and then drive across my massive plot of land. <laughs> <laughs> over to the bigger house and from there i'm gonna ro- walk half a mile to get to the master bedroom um and tell jackie that we need to get moving <laughs> can i make a recommendation okay, okay. before you do <clears throat> yes. that uh draw i know i know it's tempting to take a shortcut through the tennis court uh but it you will get tr- tire tracks on your tennis court That's which true. are all don't do it to buff yeah, also, out so I mean, take the take yeah. the, go around the duck pond i know it takes an extra 15 minutes but you'll get to see some of your ducks and that'll be nice and then go that way yeah and yeah. then fredo you'll be at the front mm-hmm. then so you don't have to walk you can just use your hoverboard you know that's true i can yeah. hoverboard it yeah for sure yeah then you have your yeah. chauffeur you know, chauffeur drive you across yeah i just way. don't want to like <laughs> hoverboard yeah. chauffeur. <laughs> yeah i mean the long way around is going past like the uh rebuilt replica of staples uh staples stadium um, oh wow yeah, staple yeah. center <laughs> I didn't know that. yeah well i call it well, staple stadium are... because it's you know it's a replica Le- i can't a l- legally legally right, right right yeah, yeah. yeah. i love yeah. how upset people are that the corporate sponsorship on that building changed and it's like a loss of some sort of uh history <clears throat> yeah what they changed it to i forgot crypto.com yeah i think is what yeah 
it's now the crypto.com center as if yep. that's any different than fucking staples it just doesn't roll off the tongue as well right staples Wait, dot com is the in the yeah. name yeah yeah that's yeah. that's where that's the problem right? well they probably they, they probably wouldn't be able to say crypto because then they're claiming you know this is crypto like that, that's, this is that's where crypto was dog. created like, yeah, it's like, why did Superman's dog, dog buy a building? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, he wanted to diversify his portfolio. You know, being a hero is not going to last forever. Mm, right? Yeah. Got to start investing mm-hmm. in your future and your children. Yeah. yeah. Dude, talking about dogs, Gabu does his new thing now. You know, we have the backyard. She plays fetch. And what we do is in the morning, you know, she wakes up. She's got to use the restroom and she's got to po- do her, like, you know, morning poop. And so we'll go outside. I'll throw the ball around a couple of times, get her like her bowels moving. She does this thing now where she has the ball. She used to just like poop with the ball in her mouth. Uh, It was weird. Um, But now she would drop the ball, then take like two steps forward because she's kind of, I don't know, I guess she's kind of like getting in position, but she perfectly lines up now where the ball is under her ass. And I have to like bolt across you know, this massive lawn that I have now uh, to grab the ball. It's a diamond ball because, you know, I'm rich and I throw <laughs> it. So that way she doesn't shit on the diamonds. Well, you must be like Usain Bolt yeah. because goddamn, yeah. it usually takes 15 minutes for me to r- run across that lawn. So Dude, it's like, if I don't or, move, or if I don't, be taking long ass poops. Yeah. If I don't move the ball, she's going to shit on the fucking tennis ball. <laughs> <laughs> like right on it. And so I have to like bolt across in the morning. I'm just kind of sitting there going, okay, go do your thing. You got to wake up. And then yeah, I go, yeah, oh, fuck. Up. And then I bolt across because she's like about to shit right on the ball. See, my, one, of, one of my dogs just poops in circles and it pisses me off because it makes picking up his poop a nightmare. <laughs> Wait, he poops and then goes in little... No, no. So what he does, what he does, what he, does he poses up. Yeah, he poses up, right? And then takes like a, like the first poop comes out. And then he fucking waddles around in circles looking at his ass. <laughs> and he's done this ever since we've gotten him. And he's just a weird ass dog. And he just poops in circles. So when, when like we used to take them out, we were letting them in the backyard and I was getting cold. <laughs> We used to take him out like around the neighborhood. When I used to pick up his hoop, I had to fucking walk circles around the fucking grass. And people are wondering what I'm doing. I'm like picking up little pieces of poop just in a circle. Yeah. When you said it, I thought you meant the poop came out in circles. And I was like, like the perfect poop like emoji. A perf- where it's like, like a donut. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like yeah. every time I was like, wait a second. It's like when people are doing Do those you- like vape circles. He's like, <laughs> vape circles. Do you think if you if you fed him enough that he had to poop enough, you he could poop a, a like a twelve turd poop clock? Like he yeah, yeah, poop absolutely. Poop. Like around absolutely. the hours. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Could. He could fucking make a he could fucking make like the 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 I don't know. He would just make it like a big ass circle and probably be like one whole fucking line. It wouldn't even be like little, That's little awesome. dots. <laughs> he's, he's annoying. You should look into that. Yeah, yeah I'll, like see, I'll see. That might be a new I'll, NFT. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> NFT that, bro. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Doo doo time. That's a good name. That's a good name for an NFT. Doo doo time. Yeah. yeah. The doo doo time line. <coughs> you, Make it a whole you, like it, uh, series. Yeah. You're talking to the guy who came up with some of the all time best names in the company, like Achievement Hunter, and helped come up with Rooster Teeth. So I'm good names like roll off the tongue for me. <laughs> Great. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> fucking sucky ass names <laughs> you, you've made like a, a dynasty jeff don't don't, don't say shitty names. A, 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 a dynasty a dynasty the dynasty dynasty of c minus company names <laughs> dynasty <laughs> well yeah but you also don't want to like oversell it some people might be like uh, yeah entrepreneur firm legal llc and it's just like well hold on they just play see, video games yeah, exactly. Yeah. You you make the names that resonate with everyone, not not with just like, yeah. the elite. You know. Sure, that's what I did. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, I mean, you just name it and then do it, yeah, and it just becomes what out, it is. You know? I unique. just needed to see things through your incorrect lens. That's excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Holy hell! Dude. <sighs> um, man, we're almost what are you guys gonna do this year? year? Oh, I guess so. Uh, yeah, I guess we up soon, but what, real quick, what do you got? What, what do I have to look forward to as a fan of whatever the shit you guys do is? Uh, I think for for us, <clears throat> I really want to dive into. Don't oversell the, me on it. The yeah, virtual, right? <laughs> well, I really want to dive into the virtual world, VR. 
taking this mm. taking this group of goobers and uh tossing them into vr and seeing how they function <laughs> in a digital oh, space. not gonna be able to function whatsoever vr is What's so tricky the, uh... it's it's weird once you get in mm. it's like it, it, i don't know you want to walk but you can't what's the shooter you uh you you shooters are into right now what's the hot oh thing? uh so yeah me and alfredo have been Ooh. talking about heading up like a whole shooter series uh, across multiple games but right now i think the two shooters that me and alfredo are really into and the vk also played it was valorant valorant's mm -hmm. really mm -hmm. fun um and then uh, there's another br called super people it's like pubg with abilities it is PUBG so with abilities. Okay. we're kind of just like we're trying to experiment what what we like to play and then on top of that what we can make fun within those games so yeah 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 no yeah That's i think cool. one i think one of the big things um you know we've been talking about behind the scenes for the year is uh just kind of like take a step back and see what we want to play and and how we want to play it and just kind of just roll with that so yeah. that's like exciting. bringing our passion is, is there any enthusiasm for the new siege game extraction is that what's called extraction or extinction or something like that <clears throat> i think uh, uh, it's yeah, like a it's weird a, four player yeah. it's like a weird multiplayer co-op where you fight aliens or some shit um i'm excited about it because anything siege uh but yeah it is extraction yeah. um i'm gonna have to take a look is that a new mm. game that they're uh, coming out with? Like yeah, so it's, yeah, in, it's like in January 20th or something? Yeah, this is, well, right now it just says January 2022. But yeah, this month, it's, um, you know, you take Siege and the universe and the characters, and it's um, a cooperative shooter, essentially. Oh, cool. Oh, that's yeah. definitely something. Yeah. Where you combat, like, parasite aliens. And yeah, so it gets pretty wild. But, um, I mean, I don't you know. We're going to, I'm going to force everyone to play that is <laughs> what I'm going to say there regardless well you can always you can always break the glass uh on me for siege if you ever if you ever get short Ooh. okay I, to see Jeff still, I don't play awesome. it i don't play it much anymore but i still watch millie play it and she still plays it quite a bit so I'm still, wow, oh millie still plays it oh awesome she goes in and out she goes in and out yeah um, yeah but yeah she's into it right now so oh, I, that's play awesome. in the, I, I still play i just i still just play called the battle what Cal is it caldera right oh oh the yeah yeah the call of duty like... pacific war zone caldera i don't know what the fuck yeah. called battle royale now it's a broken mess but it's okay it's no gems of war <laughs> yeah, i was about to say still doing gems of war 47 percent alfredo 47 oh percent on my okay. achievement how long is it taking you to get to 47 percent uh two years i believe <laughs> <laughs> that's commitment i mean it, it'll real commitment probably Joe? feel like is Joe, I don't have a choice. They <laughs> named the achievement after me. They created yeah. it and named it after me and mm. said, Hey, dickhead, do this. I don't have a I don't have a fucking choice. <laughs> and the and the well, and those of the Gems of War community that are aware of this uh hate me because of it. They took a game I that I it. loved, I was desperately loved, and then they turned the entire community against me because I talked about it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, like, holy it's hell. Like, it's, like, it's like the whole HOA situation all over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're going to go yeah, to the studio. start knocking on the studio's door. <laughs> yeah. I'll strangle you. <laughs> you. You made them all hate me. Let's just, let's just say that everything I've ever enjoyed or loved in my life has had some form of HOA attached to it. <laughs> uh, well, it's 4.30, and that about wraps it up here for us. Um, remember, we're live throughout the week on RTTV over at Rooster.com, and if you're still looking to stick around and watch, um, we've got Post Team Does Stuff, so they're going to be jumping on the Achievement or Post Team and uh, playing all kinds of games. And So stick around, hang out with them, see what shenanigans they get up to, but we're off to do the post show here, and we'll see everybody later. That's it. Oh, Don't be an HOA. Yep. True. Don't do it. Oh shoot! Oh, let me. Uh, oh, he's, he's going back me, in the slumber. Let me. Let me go the other way now. Oh, oh, that's, oh shoot! Oh, oh god! What am I? Oh, whoa! What's my camera? Whoa! What's going on? Oh my god! Bye. My, my, Bye. Oh, Forget god. Joe. Bye. Oh. <laughs>